Hey, YouTube. Okay, I'm guilty. Well, actually, I'm guilty of a lot of things, according to the Bible. I'm just, just guilty, born in sin. <laughs> All right, so I've done something kind of stupid here. So a few months ago, I, I came on here and I talked about this guy, Justin J. 1232. And at that time, uh, I, I just told him what, what, what I thought of, of, of him as, as, uh, as a YouTuber, as a, I don't know, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, social media personality. I, I just thought they was so far off mainly because of that clan hood thing. Well, what I was supposed to do at that point was to delete him. I was supposed to not be, to unsubscribe to him and block him to make sure he doesn't ever try to contact me and been done with it. But no, 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 here's where I was wrong. I kept him, I kept my subscription. Even though I never communicated with anybody on there. I, I, so his picture would always show up and I said, well, maybe this is just a rough period. Maybe he, now he's got a place to live and, and a lot of this negativity would disappear. Nope. I was wrong. Maya Angelou, <laughs> Maya Angelou, God rest her soul, her little, uh, uh, little ditty is, ma is making the rounds these days. It's become a very popular statement because it's so profound, so powerful. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. It's a simple statement, but it is so, so true particularly in the case of this dude so uh he has been i mean I, he's unsubscribed and and blocked and everything else i can do to make sure that it, i never see his face again I, I just don't want to see you dude you know this latest racial rant what is hmm, i am sick of white people girl <laughs> i was laying in my bed relaxing my nerve before i have to go to work tonight and this shit comes up. Justin J., you know, you said one good thing in that whole rant of yours. And that was towards the end when you said, I think I may need therapy. Because you do. You you're not you're not handling uh you're not handling this, this uh social media thing well at all, bro. It's the truth. Now, BP, I, I know you're for you you got all these followers and they just are green, agreeing, green, agreeing, green, green. You're dangerous. You are hardcore racist. Now, that people say that one way, uh, way of, some people say that a black person can't be racist. That's their ideology. They say that well, because their because their 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 beef is genuine. But it's not that. I know tons of black people. I, there's black people all all over uh, YouTube. Everybody. No one seems to have to keep reminding us that they're black. Everything that comes out of their goddamn mouth. Every time you open your mouth, you got, you got to say the word black. And don't get... And, this is what I mean about therapy. It ain't just white people. You don't even like light-skinned black people. I guess everybody is the enemy. Every, and you overuse this word coon. If you're going to call somebody a coon, call a coon a coon. There's not enough coons around that you, that you can use the word appropriately. Every goddamn body is not a coon because they, don't, they say something you don't like or wear something you don't like or... They perform, perform in a way you don't like. You turn, turn, call them a coon. You are a miserable, evil person. Evil. That damn last rant child. You ain't got to worry about me speaking your name no more. I'm through with this. As soon as I get through with this shit. But are you say you want to hear what people think. I'm just telling you what I think. I think you, you're you in trouble losing your goddamn mind. What the fuck? What is your solution? You talking about Martin Luther King? Oh, oh, I guess Martin in his time, his softer, easier way. Well, what is the alternative? What are you suggesting? Should we bear arms? You sound like a goddamn fool. And then you're, you're amazed when these white folks come on, on your page to call you coons and niggas and, 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 and anything irreprehensible. But you, what do you think they're going to call you? What do you call them? You just stir this shit up, stir this shit up. And you're dangerous because you, you got the other young child. She sounds just like you. So you 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 recruiting. To what ends? You don't you sick of white people. What you think they're going somewhere? You think they go I'm not no spoken for no white folks myself. And we all we all uh don't like the things that, that happen in society which are against us as black black people. But we don't make make it to where now if Donald Trump is elected president, that means the white people got elected president. If somebody shoots somebody in the back, then all, all, all the white people shot him in the back. No. No, just that person. The person is evil. I'm so sick of this race shit from you. 
I mean, every goddamn thing come out your mouth. It's got to be confirming that you're black. Who, who? I don't see why why that, that's such a mystery to you, that you're black. We all know you're black. You don't got to keep telling us you're black. God damn. Damn. Give me a fucking headache. I would play some of that damn tape, but I know you're going there and trying to get it removed because I use some of your material, if that's what you call it. Listen, dude. You the king of reeds? Stick to little gay shit to read about there. You know, you, you want to be the king of uh, reality TV? You want to go in and talk about Nene and all them girls? Talk about them. Talk about something that you can uh, have some fun with and people get a few giggles and let that bullshit go. Let that race thing go. We need we need spokesmen. Social media, uh, in the streets, television, we need to be talking rationally and reasonably. We don't need to be going here talking about, I can't stand white people. White people did that. White people did that. White people did that. White people did that. Why? I'm black, black. Girl, I'm so sick of that shit. Shut the fuck up. Sit down some goddamn where. And you do need therapy. Now, you don't take anything else from this, this video. You need to see a therapist talk to somebody. Your black ass is just homeless. The God didn't breast you with a house, and there you still just as evil as you were before. So you just you're the one of those ones that just get worse and worse and worse. My opinion is you need to get a damn job. Get off this goddamn social media thing. You're pushing it. You're working too hard at being relevant. Pushing way too goddamn hard. You uh, you, uh, you have no checks and balances. This goddamn thing you do click click and you you live online. I see the ages of some of the people listening to you too. So you are dangerous. All that nasty, all that nasty ass shit. Don't, how you gonna criticize the King? Are you, are you serious? So what are you? What are you suggesting? We all get pitchforks and go get kill all the white people? You don't make no goddamn sense. So what you sick of them? Get your ass in therapy. Go sit down and tell them people how you didn't have the balls to leave the South when you should have. It's too late now because you are hardcore racist. Now if, if they don't like the word racist. Whatever the word is, you know what I'm talking about. You're that. And then white people are just, are just controlling your mind. You, I, on this rent, you look like you're going to start banging your head in the goddamn wall. I don't know if you got PTSD or, or you got some kind of anger management issue or something. You need to do something. That's a horrible way to go through life. Because guess what? Every time you walk out the goddamn door, there they are. And they ain't leaving nowhere. Nobody going nowhere, child. You should, I, I would ordinarily suggest somebody in your condition to leave the South. Get out of the South. God damn. Like you live in 1969. Get out of the South. Come into the real world. But you, you're, you're a mess, child. You, you're a fucking mess. And I mean, that's from the bottom of my heart. Damn, I keep saying, oh, what's he talking about today? And then your face will pop up on my stuff. And something about this damn YouTube, even after you, you unsubscribe to these people, they, their face keep popping up. And then, of course, curiosity. Oh, let me see what he said today. He said, did he read somebody? Girl, fuck the light of reading this shit. You, you 28? Negro, you supposed to be older than you are right now. You acting like a goddamn child. And all, all the attention you get online, I mean, when you go on that, what's that bullshit? Wasted Wednesday. Girl, I turned that damn thing on. I sat there. I said, I was sitting there like this. I'm thinking about what in the fuck is wrong with this dude? He think he's saying something important. Just to sit online for a fucking hour and a half. I, I was in and I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't stop. I could I said, what is he doing? And then the comments, people be reacting to that bullshit. I said, girl, this child is totally delusional. He's totally delusional. Think somebody will get online and listen, look at his ass for an hour and a half saying nothing. Child, get you a razor. Get you a comb and a razor and either make a decision. Either you're going to shave the damn beard off or you're going to trim it up. It'll make no goddamn sense. You're sitting there with a great beard with a wedge across. The, it goes down. I don't know. It's long on this side and short on that side. And I can tell I'm the super groomed person in the world, but goddamn. How could you look in the mirror and not see that? You're a delusional person. And you're just miserable. Fuck you, miserable. It's like, okay, well, maybe if you do get somewhere to live, Maybe he gets some income or I don't know if he get a certain amount of views or something that will make him calm his ass down. No, no, it ain't going to work. You need some medication. You need some talk therapy and you need some medication. They have to uh, equalize you because if you can't, if you can't watch a goddamn view, you can't watch a damn TV show without going completely insane at a TV screen. 
Maybe this therapist can tell you, okay, first of all, here's what, the here's what I got it. Here's what the therapist is going to tell you. Okay, just like in 12-step meetings, we want you to do something. We want you to go make amends to all the people you've done wrong. And uh, do you have that person, uh, the hell's name? Uh, what's the one he always going on? Tamar Braxton. Okay, we want to get Tamar Braxton's phone, phone number. Or her, 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 her Twitter account. I want you to go in there and, and apologize for being so vicious and so mean and so nasty about concerning her, concerning her marriage, concerning her husband, concerning her ch her child, her baby, the things you said about. I want you to apologize for that. And then maybe he can help you with that. And then you can say, okay, all these reality stories. Let's take out. Let's take them in bunches. I want you to uh, uh, send them an email and tell them that you are sorry for the way you have been so vicious and so nasty towards them tell them that you just did it for views and you weren't aware of, of what an asshole you really are or what a bully you are do that do that maybe that's what you need a therapist for somebody to help you because you just been in this downward spiral damn i thought you were gonna get a fucking gun wrap the goddamn door start shooting people that's the kind of ideal ideology you 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 have are you seem to be go, going towards you don't have no solutions nothing you can't talk irrationally. You can't have a. You can't go on CNN and talking like that. I bet you that goddamn much. You'll never get out of that little whatever little bubble you can control because ain't nobody gonna have you nowhere decent where decent people are thinking people are. You just go on there and just vent and hollering and screaming like I'm a goddamn fool. Knock this shit off, dude. Knock it. Knock, I don't give a damn. You, I'm a coon too. I mean, everybody's a coon. Everybody uh, two shades lighter than you is a coon. They all kind of be white. <laughs> Justin J, I, you made another suggestion. You said maybe you need to get off of social media for a while. Do it. Do it. I used to have his friend in, uh, in L.A. Now, he was from a wealthy family. I ain't going to say the name of the family, but my, my lover's sister used to go with him. But he was such a, 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 a he was always going into these rages and his anger and just driving erratically and, and just mad all the goddamn time. Anyway, he was living in New York City at the time. His thought, he finally broke down and got some therapy. You know what the therapist told him? Leave New York City. You have to get your ass out of New York City or you're going to have a heart attack. So, and he helped that man. He moved, packed all this shit up out of New York. They wasn't no they were no poor people. He can go anywhere he wanted to go. Packed all this shit out, out of New York and moved to, to the hills uh, of Hollywood. That was the only way he could be helped. And it helped him tremendously. Although he did eventually die of a heart attack. That man was so wound up. These this thing you have about this, I don't know what this black, you think you're, you think you're some kind of black activist or something? Child, you have to be able to have a conversation. You have to be able to get a point across in order to call yourself anything like that. We don't need that you just hotter hollering, calling people by their name. Then you are, how can they, you, you're so amazed when they when they come at you with, with calling you niggers. I don't like using that word. It just it makes me cringe when I say it. But the way you use it, it's telling them it's okay. Call me that. Call me a, call me an ape. Call me a gorilla. And so I'll throw some stuff at you and then you hit me back with, with, with as much negative you can get. And then you come on here and you tell us, oh, I can't believe it. They said, they said nasty things to me. Bitch, you got to be insane. Okay, here's my advice. I ain't going to spend forever on this thing. First of all, I, you, I don't think you'll be seeing my face no more. I got to figure out a way. I, I don't see yours. I, want, I wish YouTube would have a way where your, your face would not show up. My, because in a moment of weakness, I might click on there and hear some more of this shit and get upset about it again. Anyway, so you're gone for me. But uh, that's my advice to you. You said it right out your own mouth. You, you told all the solutions. Right out your own. I'm not a therapist, but I do. I do run a therapy group. I do have groups that I've been doing for years for, that I facilitate. And so, I can't come to you as a doctor. I can't unpack all that shit you got. But uh, I think you should do that. I think he's gonna. First thing he's gonna tell you: it's time to get offline. Second thing he's gonna, he's gonna tell you is you need to get a job. You need to not be dependent on getting online every day. This is not a good, not a good fit for you. You feel like you, you got to keep the people entertained, and then and then you go on and, and you and just say you just say anything. I mean, I, I guess the YouTube had a plan that they were gonna say, "Well, stop paying your assholes, just going there cussing, fussing, and, and and stirring up all this race shit." 
I guess they, they back down on that. Or, or either that or you're just not getting paid for these videos you're making. But you need to get another source of income. This should be a hobby or something you do for fun. This should not be you you get up in them numbers and you and you think you're your 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 social media royalty because you got sixty thousand uh, uh viewers or subscribers. That ain't no damn subscribers. Child, go to your go to the top of your screen, click on trending. Okay. Now these people you the white folks you hate so much, click on trending and see what how many viewers they get. They got them in the millions. Millions. Black folks got them in the millions. You're never gonna break through uh this sixty thousand you think is so is is so impressive. Girl, get yourself together. You always want everybody to get yourself together. Turn it down, get yourself together, and get off social media, take a vacation, a trip or something. Cause for the, that last rant just got damn it, throw me out of the bed. I was sitting here minding my own goddamn business, and I just had, I said, oh, shit, I got to say something about this. Okay, so goodbye. It has not been pleasurable knowing you at all. I, I, I would pray that I would never run into you. You even criticize God. Leave these black people alone. Yes, we have religion. We have spirituality. And this, I guess you say there's something wrong with that. Because we, cause we I like to sing and, and, and say, thank you, God. Whatever, whatever. It, it works for me, and it works for millions of us. So don't don't work don't do the work of the antichrist or you're just trying to get people away from the church if you are if you're not into it leave it alone because god knows you're gonna need him goodbye and good luck